Good Howdy morning, doody. Gail. It's raining. It's raining. It's better than the snowing and uh, ice rain we had last week. <laughs> it was exciting. It was. It was a winter wonderland. Yes, it was for a few days. But now it's just back to Seattle usual of uh, surly rain. Mm -hmm. um, so we have decided to cheer ourselves up with a comparison between... Yeah, two comparable grinders, the Virtuoso from Baratza and the Smart Grinder from the Breville mm -hmm. Company. Okay. Uh, they're similar in price. This and guy's now a little bit more expensive. A tad. Yeah. Not a lot, though. And so we thought we'd go through the features. Sounds good. Okay. Grinder. All right. <laughs> grinder. Another grinder. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do, Gail? Do they grind? They do. <laughs> they're both burr grinders. Okay. Uh, they, in fact, here's the burrs. This is the Baratza. Okay. You can see a little bit finer, uh, closer together on the uh, Smart Grinder. Than on the Virtuoso? They okay. seem to be about the same size. Uh, we couldn't find any stats on the Smart Grinder, but this is a 40, and this appears to be about the same size. Your caliper was like around 39-ish or so? 39.4 something, yeah. But I don't know exactly where to up. measure either. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. They're both uh, conical bird grinders. Uh, the... Um, the Virtuoso has 40 settings. Okay. And it's up here on the top. This is the inner burr we wanted to show you. Mm hmm. Inner burr. Yep. Very similar. Yeah. Um, right along there. Okay. Yep. There's your settings. And then uh, it has a button on the front that if you want to put your portafilter in there and go right down into the portafilter, you can just like that. Okay. Uh, it's got a timer button on the side. Here. Yes. Tick, tick, tick. Okay. And then it's got a ground collection basket if you want to do like for French press or something like that. So it comes stock with that. You can... Anti-static plastic too. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you don't have uh, jumping beans everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, right. And it also you can buy a porta holder thing if you want yep. separate. The burrs uh, on the uh, smart grinder align like that and just turn on in. I'm gonna I like it. They have a little handle. I'm going to put it back together so you can see the display. Let me put this guy back together now. Red, red in the front. Red in the front? Mm-hmm. Don't tell me what to do, Gail. I know. I do what I want. Yeah, I can't really do it one-handed. There you go. <laughs> I'm not as skilled as you. I didn't say I could do it one-handed. <laughs> I wouldn't claim. I can't even get the rubber thing back in. <laughs> oh, we won't go there. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. That's here the that's your adjustments. Okay. Whoa, and it's got a flippy lid. So not really any programming except nope. that if after a while you know exactly how much tick, like tick, timing tick, tick. you can mm -hmm. sort of dose it that way. Okay. This one locks and unlocks. So if you have beans in here and you want to take them out. You could have this full and still yeah. take it out. That, that one, you can't do that. And really, you don't start seeing this until you get up like... Five, what? 600 bucks. Uh, yeah. Yep. I think maybe the lowest end one is the uh, compact. Mm -hmm. Like at, around 500. 500 yeah. bucks, yeah. So um, it's got that. And then, as you can see, your display goes away and it says, look, the bean hopper. This, it won't work without that in there, so you can't there. grind up your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Here, I want to do my nails. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so... Okay. Um, it also comes with a container that collects your ground coffee, and it has cups for uh, French press, percolator drip, and espresso. Okay. That's pretty good. And then it also comes with these devices that go in there, and one of these is for a 52, 53 millimeter portafilter, and the other one's for a 58. Okay. It's a, it says 50 to 54, and this one's 58. So you basically can't, those come with it, so you don't have to buy anything nope. separate. Cool. You don't have to buy them. Okay. And then this goes under there if you want to collect your ground coffee for drip, French press, something like that. Okay. Right. So now up in here, you this is the dial for adjusting the fineness of the grind, and you can see this pointer going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're still in the espresso at the fine end of things, and it's showing shots. When you start to go down further, it's going to go to. I thought it was going to go down to. Um, it goes down. Well, it goes down to cup here versus okay, shots. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Cups instead of shots. Yep, you're right. Okay. I didn't notice that it changed. I knew it did something. And then this is the amount of coffee that's going to be ground down into your. And you just have to play with that. Okay. And then you can do one or two. 
cups or shots. So the this is so this is um, a, the dose quantity here. Yep. And then that's how many versions of that yep. it will do. Okay. Yes, exactly. One version of that. Okay. Two, three, four. Got it. Ooh, up to five shots. <laughs> that's crazy, Gail. Crazy. Everything <laughs> Breville has, a, you know, like a latch like this on it. Even yeah. The, even the cord has a pull thing out. That's, I like that. I like that. Actually, you know, we have it in a, a very squirrely place. It's hard to access the cord on that because it's next to the big old egg row over there. But this morning I was able to and I was like, because I was able to hook my finger, I was like, this is grinder. This is the spot for it. <laughs> you can have it in then, very... And then it has a ground... It just, it just roll around. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so now you can get your ground coffee. And it comes with a little brush, too. To clean her out. Mm-hmm. That's magnetic, by the way. Cool. I can feel it. Watch. Get it close. <laughs> <laughs> magnets. Breville and their magnets. So now we're going to uh, pause for a second, put some beans in here, and, and we're going to we'll check a, the consistency. Like on the finest and the coarsest? Yeah, and in the middle, too. Cool. We'll get a piece of paper like we did the other day. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, okay. This is the Breville. At its finest. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. There was a little bit of clumping. Super fine. Pour that in my other hand, if you like. Just a little bit. She can't see what she's doing. She's going to kill me. Oh, there. there we go. Here we go. <laughs> clumping, too. Mm -hmm. That one's... That one's super powdery. Well, they both are, actually. Feel the same? I can't feel both of them. You know, <laughs> I will in a second. I might say that the that this guy is a tad more and that, powdery. And that's the virtual. Yeah, the yeah, virtual. It looks, just a tad. You know, it kind of looks that way. Come on over to the light. Blinded by the light. <laughs> well, they both look consistent. Yeah, their consistency is great. Um, I think that the virtuoso is just a t a teench. More powdery. Yep, it, it even looks more a little more powdery. Okay, shall we do coarsest? The medium, not the coarse. We said we were going to do coarse, but we so, were working, so, the, working the grinder. Working it up. Yep. Okay. So this is the um, mid-range on that, and then at about 20, 20 on the Virtuoso. Give me a squirt here. Or a shake. A shake. Shake it up. Shaken, not stirred. Oh my, a big difference. Come on over to the light. Watch out for the basket. <laughs> I can see you falling head. <laughs> totally. That makes some good Oh, totally. Filming. That is a much coarser grind. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's consistent, fairly consistent. Both of them are really consistent, but it's coarser at much the... Much coarser. I wonder what we're going to find on the coarsest. It's so exciting, Gail. I know. It's, it's, no, it's called riveting. Riveting, darling. Okay, so that's the Breville at the coarsest setting. So mm -hmm. all the way to the left. Yep. Whoa, oh, sorry. <laughs> Pour a little more on this hand. <laughs> what the heck? Let's get it equal going on in here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now let's go over here. Oh, wow. Big difference. On the finest setting, they were very similar. In the medium, they started to waver away from each other. Yeah. And now, they're even, this one goes much coarser. Yeah, definitely much coarser. Which is and the, the consistency the is okay, not great. But this, this one's still pretty consistent. It looks a lot more consistent. The, it's not as coarse. Not as but coarse. With the, this is too coarse for French press, though. Yeah. I mean, this is more... That's more what you want to do. Yeah, so... So I guess if you had this down at, uh, you know, maybe uh, 25 or 30... Versus the, because mm -hmm. that's at the 40. Mm -hmm. This would be uh, <laughs> fill the cracks in your driveway stuff. <laughs> cool. All right. So um, the big difference is obviously you've got some programmability, yeah. that kind of stuff on this guy. It's pretty. Um, it's a nice looking, you know, grinder too. And I like the fact that it's got the lock. That's awesome. The hopper remover. Yeah. You can swap out your beans really yeah, easily. As we've always said, Breville thinks of everything. They do. Even on their lower end stuff. Breville's your total lady, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. All right. So that Rosie is... Rosie the, the Riveter <laughs> would have one of these. Exactly. <laughs> That's the um, the new Virtuoso with the upgraded Preciso bur 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 yep. versus the Smart Grinder. Yep. Thanks, Gail. We like them both. Yeah. They'll both work great for espresso. Yep. Take care. You too.